Hi guys, welcome to Power Cubicle Guy. In today's show, we will see why to avoid filter as a filter argument. But before that, a small intro. So let's create a measure for the sales with a filter of product color as blue. So let's go here. Click on new measure, right? And say blue sales equals calculate and write sales and filter product and the product color as blue right so this measure is created let's see the value of this measure the blue sales so the value comes out to be nine million dollars right now let's go back so here the measure definition calculates the blue product sales by using a table expression it will replace any filters that might be applied to the product table right so the calculate function accepts a table expression returned by filter dax function which evaluates its filter expression for each row of the product table it achieves the correct result right so the sales uh, for the blue products so that is what we require and uh, this measure definition achieves that however it could be achieved much more efficiently if we use a boolean expression so let's create an improved measure definition which uses a boolean expression instead of the table expression so let's use keep filter So we see uh, the same value is returned by using keep filters as well, right? But the keep filters DAX function ensures any existing filters applied to the color column are preserved and not overwritten as in the previous case. So it is recommended that you pass filter arguments as Boolean expressions whenever possible. It's because import model tables are in memory column stores. They are explicitly optimized to efficiently filter columns in this way. But there are however few restrictions that apply to Boolean expressions when they are used as filter arguments. They cannot compare columns to other columns, cannot reference a measure, cannot use nested calculate functions, cannot use functions that scan or return a table. For best performance, it is recommended by Microsoft as well that you use Boolean expressions as filter arguments whenever possible. So if you have to do some logical comparisons, like for example, profit is greater than uh, $1 million so like that, we have to use filter in that case. I guess you guys got the concept that uh, it is recommended to use the boolean expressions whenever possible all right if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you have any questions regarding the same thank you guys and see ya